hi guys welcome to 100 days ui series so today is the day four and our challenge is to design calculator app ui so let's create calculator ui in figma okay so first we need to select frame on the right side let's choose iphone 14 preset and uh, let's rename this on the right side let's choose radius 40 and fill color for the top one we will choose 700 and for the bottom dark one let's choose this color so it will look like dark and top on the top light so now let's use the status bar and the home indicator from the apple design resources ios 17 so you can find this file in the community and i will just copy and paste it in my design so now let's align this to the top and the home indicator to the bottom let's make it dark and let's remove the background from the status bar and make it dark okay now let's select rectangle tool and just click inside the artboard now let's make it instead of 100 we will use 72 by 72 corner radius let's make it 16 and the corner round smoothing let's make it 100 percent update the fill so instead of solid we will use linear gradient and the top one let's make it 700 and the bottom one let's make it 900 it's time to add stroke so let's select object and inside the stroke add stroke make it inside for the color we will choose 900 and inside let's make it who is working and for the blending mode let's make it overlay opacity let's make it 25 okay so now let's add inner shadow go to effect and add effect inside select inner shadow make it white let's make it one and zero for the blending mode let's make it overlay and opacity make it 75 think we can just add two percent one percent is okay Air drop shadow so again select rectangle and air drop shadow for y we will use 2 and 0 let's make it white oh, sorry we can choose color from here 700 and it will look like this let's check opacity is 100 percent and i think we can choose 600 to see Okay, let's leave it 600 for the drop shadow duplicate this rectangle and make it 64 now place it on the top up okay so it will look like this now select the rectangle and just remove the drop shadow also we don't need the stroke let's remove the stroke okay for the linear color let's choose 500 and for the second color let's choose 600 okay so for the inner shade let's select a rectangle go to inner shade let's make it overlay white and we will make it 25 percent so it will look like this again we will just select this rectangle with the option key and make it duplicate and let's reduce the size by 52 for the corner radius we will use 900 let's place it on the top of these two rectangles okay now let's rotate the linear gradient so it will look like this and for the opacity let's increase it to 50 percent i think we don't need inner shadow so we'll just remove one thing i just forgot this rectangle color for the dark one we need to make it 700 okay and for this circle we will just make it 500 and for the dark one let's use 700 so slightly dark okay just remove the inner shade from the circle and add stroke make it white let's make it overlay and just reduce the opacity to 25 percent so it will look like this now just select the type tool and type 
select SA Pro font. Let's make it semi bold and uh, let's use 16 center line. And instead of white color, let's choose this 500. I think 500 is let's make this one 75 percent drop it slightly instead of 100 percent we will make it 75 percent like this okay so now it's time to center a line and create component let's duplicate the component with the option key and place the master component outside of the artboard okay let's align this component let's see if 20 is okay let's duplicate this and make it 16 let's duplicate this three times let's make it 20 let's just duplicate this three, four five five times now let's just update this one so now this will be plus slash minus now let's create the right side duplicate this master component right click and detach instance now let's select this one and now we will add secondary color so for the bottom color let's choose this color code type C A eight a zero four so this is one color and for the top one just type something like this okay so now we just need to update the circle one so let's copy this color and for the light one let's choose this one and for the text we will choose 800 so i think 800 is fine okay so now let's make this one also component just copy it and paste it here let's make this 20 okay and let's just duplicate this okay and so it's time to add number so just type one two three four five and make it light and for the size let's make it 96 okay so this spacing we will make it 80 for the this spacing let's make it 80 so for the line height let's make it auto so it's probably a line okay so this was the today challenge day for calculator design and uh, hope you like the video so if you like the process please like the video and uh, share it comment and also support the video thank you very much see you in the next challenge